Hi there and welcome to another episode of Soul Align Success. Today I just wanted to pop in here and share with you why your Soul Align business is going to be one of the most fulfilling and challenging things you've ever done. So the reason why I say this is one of the most fulfilling and challenging things you've ever done is because in order to build a soul aligned business, you have to come into soul alignment. And I'm going to be speaking directly to the spiritual teacher, healer, light worker, and messenger that's here to uplift and heal humanity during this great awakening through your unique talents, gifts, and wisdom. And this is who this message is for. In order for you to create a soul aligned business, you have to come into soul alignment, which means everything that's not truth everything that's not part of your divine truth the true essence of you is going to fall away so any place you deem yourself as unworthy or any place you self-sacrifice any place you don't value your gift any place that you uh, don't trust the process all of that stuff is going to come up for you to be clearing and working through you're also, what you're doing when you're creating your soul aligned business ultimately is you're creating a vessel that spirit now gets to work uh, to you and through you. Your business is a vessel for you to be a divine channel, for you to step into service to others, divine service to others. This means that you're aligning your personal will with the will of the divine. And when you align your personal will with the will of the divine the divine is going to use you and there's not going to be any room for bullshit anymore that keeps you playing small or keeps you stuck or keeps you from getting the messages that the divine wants to wants to facilitate through you out so this is your soul expressing through your business as a way to fulfill your mission Yeah, it's that big. I just wanted to share that when you come into soul alignment and you surrender to being of divine service and being a channel for God to work through you, God will work through you. And it may not look like what you expect. You'll be, re you'll be surrendering aspects of your personality self. You'll be you know, transcending aspects of yourself or, or um, reframing. You'll be losing or letting go or shedding layers that are no longer part of your authentic truth. And your authentic truth is the divine that is within you, right? The, the worthy, the innate worthiness, which is a lot of what spiritual entrepreneurs have to deal with when they first embark on this journey. Because again, you can't build a soul aligned business without coming into soul alignment. And this is why I always say your spiritual business is your number one ascension tool. It will, it's like putting your ascension journey on steroids because it's going to, you've already been on your own ascension journey, but now you're taking the next step onto the path of service to others, not service to self, specifically service to others from an intentional aligned place not for the purpose of having all the manifestations and the bells and whistles that you think you're going to get when you have soul aligned success that's not what soul aligned success is soul aligned success is the byproduct of vibrational frequency that you become when you surrender to the path of service that's what soul aligned success is in the in the way that i use it for um, building a business right it's the byproduct of you coming into vibrational frequency with who you truly are and to the degree that you're able to do that will be the degree that you can help serve others and so as long as you're committed to your own ascension journey and um, uh, making that a priority and creating from that place your soul, your business, your program, your offering or whatever is going to be a reflection of that and will be in alignment. 
but the reason it's obviously the most fulfilling is because you're coming into soul alignment and everything that's not true anymore is falling away so you can be your authentic self it's also the most challenging because you're coming into alignment and everything's falling away so you can be your most authentic self